In order to make things a little more clear, I've clicked on the little brooms here to clean up the various panes on our studio so that it'll be less confusing. That should be fine because I'm going to read in new data anyway. I am reading in some data about human heights. If I look at the data, I can see that it is a list of heights of men and women. If we look at the structure of the file that I read in, we can see that because I use the read.csv rather than the read underscore CSV, it's read it in as a classic data frame. The columns that have character data in them are read in as factors. And when you're using the uh, box and whisker plot, that's important. The way that it knows how to do a box and whisker plot is because the x variable is a factor and not something else. I can see that here. Let's go ahead and create the plot. The box and whisker plot shows me the difference in the distribution between the men and women's categories. Typically, since ggplot is a part of the tidyverse, it's going to use data frames that are tibbles. However, it does not have a problem with generic data frames. And I can see this if I create the box plot using the same data frame that I was using before. So here's, again, is my base function. And now I'm choosing a geometry or a geom, which is a box plot. The aesthetic that I'm using for the box plot now has two arguments, one for x and for y, because I need both of them in order to create the plot. Generating this uh, box plot creates a figure that is similar to the generic one. Some slight differences in how it's rendered. Let's compare now using the read underscore CSV file instead of the read.csv file. If I read this in as a tibble and then examine the structure of the data frame, I see now that the column called grouping is not a factor column, but rather it's a character column. These are just simply the strings, men and women. However, if I run the same ggplot using the tibble version of the data frame instead of the vanilla data frame, I get exactly the same plot. What we can see is that in the case of creating plots in the tidyverse, we can use tibbles but we can also generally use regular old data frames. Whereas with the vanilla functions like the plot function, it will not work if you try to use a tipple because it depends on this automatic conversion of character strings into factors. So it'll work with a regular data frame, but not with a tipple. 